The process of artificial insemination begins with the separation of the mature male and female trout from their happy homes. The fish are placed into buckets and readied for their adventure. Male trout can be identified by their lower protruding jaw and their fish junk package. While the females can be identified by their daintier frames and their non-stop fish chirping or furping. Once the fish are separated, the spawning process will begin. To calm the fish, a light sedative or fish roofies will be added to the tanks. This will help the process and cause the fish to struggle later to identify their scientist predators. To fertilize the eggs, one of two methods will be used. The first method is called the hand crank. On the males, it appears to be a happy ending. But believe me, based on the look of the fish's face, I assure you it is not. The second method is called the pressure flush, in which the scientists shove a hose up the fish's hoo-ha and they blow their bits clean out. The eggs are then collected in a bucket. 7-Up is added for that crisp lemon-lime flavor. And finally, the milky sauce collected earlier is added to the mix. When the scientists are done with the mature fish, they are crapped back into the wild, ashamed and confused. Finally, after a six-pack, the scientists will begin the process once again.